Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. This news story features a day no parent or relative wants to experience. This is an example of when a regular day doing the same routine goes absolutely wrong. A 14-year-old girl was taking an Uber ride in Dolphin County, Pennsylvania. Her plan was to visit her stepfather. Being aware of the route to his location, she noticed the driver taking the wrong directions. The teen told the Uber driver that he was driving the wrong way. The Uber driver ignored her and the girl looked around on both sides of the road noticing that he continued to drive in the wrong direction. Her sense of intuition caused her to be alarmed. She knew he was supposed to drive downtown. And after telling the Uber driver that he was going in the wrong direction again, he said, oh, I live uptown. Then he drove past a Walmart. So she devised a plan of escape. When the Uber driver slowed down to turn the next time, using her quick thinking skills, the teenager managed to jump out of the vehicle. Miraculously, she did not get injured. She walked all the way to her stepfather's home. And that's when she told him all the details and contacted her mother as well. Here's a video. To an Uber, assuming the driver is taking you to the right place, taking you home. But then you realize you're actually heading in the opposite direction. This unsettling experience became all too real for a Dolphin County student who says her Uber driver told her he was headed towards his house instead. CBS 21's Kennedy Miller has this exclusive story. Four times. That's how often the 14-year-old told her Uber driver he was headed in the wrong direction. But despite that, she says he still kept driving until she finally had enough. Now, she didn't want to go on camera, but she's still sharing her story with us. On May 27th, the 14-year-old stuck to her usual routine. She ordered an Uber to her stepfather's house. Little did she know this day would be unlike any other when her Uber driver decided to do the unthinkable. We got close towards um, up the hill from Walmart, and he decided to stop and then turn around and start going towards the city, but that's opposite. The young girl was now stuck in a moving car with a complete stranger, uncertain where they were headed. He mentioned that he lived uptown, and I was just like, okay. Terrified about what might happen next, but determined to make it home safe, the 14-year-old made a swift choice. As soon as the driver made his next stop, she jumped out. When I knew I had to get out, I was kind of panicking, but at the same time, I knew I was in a serious situation, so I had to think quick and get out. She then walked all the way to her dad's house. Her family says they're just happy she made it back home safe. However, not every family is as fortunate. If you can recall back in 2019, Samantha Josephson, a student at the University of South Carolina, was murdered after getting into the wrong Uber. There was a car that pulled up, was going around in circles, looking for a victim. And Samantha got into the car and she was, wasn't seen again. She was kidnapped and murdered. The tragedy pushed Josephson's parents to advocate for legislation to make rideshare services safer. Known as Sammy Law, or Stop, Ask, Watch, and Inform, the bill was signed by President Joe Biden January of last year. It aims to address safety requirements for passengers and drivers using ride-sharing apps, something the 14-year-old tells me her driver failed to do. If you don't do the safety features before getting into the car, then it's really too late, right? So that's why we actually started the foundation so that this doesn't happen again, um, because it is the worst nightmare for, for us. In 2017 and 2018, Uber Safety Report revealed close to 6,000 allegations of sexual violence or assault involving drivers. 3,000 of those incidents happening in 2018 alone. So we know that it's very bad. It's drastically changing. It's increasing still happening to this day. The Josephson say two years since Samantha's passing, their message remains clear, and that's taking extra safety steps to prevent tragedies. You know, I wish someone had done it before us um, so that Sammy could still be here with us today.
And as for the 14-year-old, well, she's spreading her own crucial message for those considering taking an Uber in the future. I would say don't get in one, but if you have to, just stay off your phone and watch where you're going and pay attention and make sure he's going the right way. And the young girl's mother and I have reached out to Uber to see if the driver is still working for the company, but we have not heard back yet. Now, this news story is another example of the importance of being vigilant. Imagine if this girl wasn't focused. Suppose she was distracted by an in-depth phone conversation or continuous videos on social media. Although this teen is responsible and she is capable of traveling independently, there are just so many predators lurking around. Now regarding the Uber driver, I honestly assumed that there were cameras in each vehicle. I wonder why wasn't a camera linked to an Uber hub or business to see their drivers? And why did he think he could take a child to his home, especially when her stepfather expected her at a certain time? When I order an Uber driver, just like you, I look at the driver's photo, the car, the make and model of the car, the license plate and reviews which are posted. The predator wasn't concerned about being apprehended by police, even when his identity was known. If the driver wasn't being rerouted due to massive traffic, a vehicle accident or road repairs, there is absolutely no reason for the change of direction. Anyone would begin to feel uneasy and fearful as a teen or adult with the amount of human trafficking cases that are taking place. Unfortunately, kidnapping of people have occurred in this country centuries ago and still is a form of crime where people of any race, age, and gender are being used for free labor, organ transplants, and S work that happens daily. Now, SAMI law stands for stop, ask, watch, and inform. And it applies to all ride-sharing companies, Uber, Lyft, or taxi cabs. As you can see, another woman was viciously attacked and unalived two years ago. So thankfully, her parents established SAMI law definitively on the website of Congress law, it states that SAMI law is the act that requires a government accountability office to submit to Congress a biennial report that includes the results of a study regarding one, the incidence of fatal and non-fatal physical assault, SU assault in the preceding two calendar years on drivers by passengers of ride-sharing vehicles and on passengers by drivers of such vehicles. And two, the nature and specifics of any background checks conducted on prospective drivers of ride-sharing vehicles. And three, the safety steps taken by ride-sharing companies related to rider and driver safety. Now back to the news story. Her parents want this Uber driver to be investigated. I've said this in previous videos. All rideshare drivers must have thorough background checks done. Now, what will the Uber Corporation do to make sure he's held accountable? Currently, there aren't any updates on the driver being fired. Now, Uber will continue to have lawsuits it's a legitimate case because passengers, just like this teen and several others, aren't guaranteed safety due to some of their employees' alleged predatory ways. Every day is certainly a blessing, especially when this young girl needed to fight for her freedom. She pushed past her fear to survive. And that's all I have to say. But please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a million, and stay safe wherever you are.